a great day for a drive, especially in this 2018 Nissan Pathfinder SL Midnight Edition. And it has a white exterior. You're gonna see some black touches on it. As well, it has black leather interior, seating for seven, four doors, and a hatch, with a 3.5 liter V6 engine paired with an automatic transmission, and it's a four by four. It also has a twin panel moonroof, as well as navigation, reverse camera, and many more features, as well as a trailer hitch. It's really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive. You can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four by four. It actually has a dial for two wheel and four wheel drive as well as hill descent. Let's have a look inside. Speaker in the door as well as power locks, windows and mirrors. There's also memory for two drivers. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar. Now these nice all weather mats on the floor and down here you're gonna see that you have your traction control, heated steering wheel, lift gate release, blind spot, tow mode as well as your main on and off plug and on the face of the steering wheel lots of stuff going on this is the dash information your sources plus your volume hands-free dialing and you also have your cruise control now this is a push start so my foot's on the brake keys in the pocket and we're going to push the engine start stop button there's also buttons up top here this is the trip reset and then you have your lighting controls located here on your dash, any important messages will appear and we can go into the menu and you're seeing your odometer reading. And in the center, we have our display screen. So right now it's got the navigation on there. You can also press on for the camera. This is showing where you are in space and then the lines showing you the direction you're going plus how close you are to other vehicles or to the curb, for instance. And as well, when I go in reverse, you're going to see this view and then you see the other lines of how close you're getting uh, to another object or vehicle when going in reverse. And then you've got your info, gas um, fill up, and you also have the ability to go back into different options and enter in the information. You have AM, FM as well. You've got a CD player and then your volume and tuner. And then you've got dual climate control with your fan in the center there. You've got your AC, your rear defrost, as well as the front defrost. And then down below, you also have a 12 volt and USB outlets, automatic shifter, and your heated seats for both driver and passenger. A couple of cup holders here. And there's your four x four, your hill descent, and then you just dial through what you'd like. And then on your armrest, it's got the lower and the upper. So this is the lower portion that I've clicked on. And you've got your SD map, auxiliary line in, and USB, plus lots of room. And there's also a 12 volt there. And then if we go into the upper, it's just a more shallow area where you can put other items, like drop your phone in there or whatever you want to do. You've got your glove compartment, and then an auto dimming rear view mirror. That's your garage door opener. And you also have your lighting controls up here as well as your moonroof. And you can just press the button for that, slide it forwards and backwards. And I've just done the back one for the screen. And there's different options. There's the SOS. And you also have a grab handle and manual sliding screen for those moonroofs up top. 20 inch black painted wheels, chrome door handle with the easy entry. So when the fob's in close proximity, it'll lock, unlock the door and you have driver's side fuel cap. In the back, there's a little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper and just below the Nissan insignia there, you have your backup camera, backup sensors on your bumper. You also have a trailer tow hitch. And when you're ready to open up that tailgate or lift gate, I should say, you just press and hold your fob. You can also release it from inside and then it powers it open. And then inside you've got these two seats in the rear. You can see there's a 50-50 split. You've got your 12 volt and there's hooks and tabs off to the side. You've also got nice storage in here and there's the Bose um, sound system that you've got the acoustic wave system located there. And then when you're ready to close everything up, there's a handle on the right, but there's also a button on the left. So you can press that, it powers it down for you and chimes to let you know that it's going down securely. So this is the midnight edition. You'll notice the black accents. So you're seeing the writing there in the black that kind of offsets the nice white there. And then when you're ready and it's all closed up, you can lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Speaker in the door as well as 
power windows. They're seating for three in this row with a 60-40 split. And you're seeing the armrest in the center there with a couple of cup holders. And then when I want to bring the seat down, I just pull the lever and then I can pull this lever again and it'll slide it forward gives me room to get in the back with a 50-50 split and there's cup holders there. Anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats. Now there's a little bar underneath the seat and that allows me to slide it back and then I can pop the seat back up into the upright position. You've got these nice all-weather mats on the floor and slim pockets on the back of the front seat. As well, you've got your air vents, USB, 120 volt, and heated seats back here as well. And you're seeing up top, you've got those nice moon roofs as well, lighting, hooks, and handles. Chill wiper and reverse camper in the rear, privacy glass in the back windows, roof rack and rails, heated side view mirrors, halogen headlights, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you, and we love to hear your comments.